everyone. Thanks for tuning in to do a little bit of training. Today I'm going to discuss the different varieties and models of some GPA helmets and give you some ideas on how they fit and how they look so that you can better help your customers. The first model we're going to talk about is the GPA Speed Air. This is what basically put GPA on the map. This fabulous, well-vented helmet is incredibly comfortable, it has great airflow, it fits a number of heads, especially those that are a little oval. Sometimes those are really tough to fit heads, and the Speed Air does a great job for that kind of person. So you can see we have vents here on the sides, the top, as well as the back. This model happens to have some accent colors, as you can see. The brim is gray leather, and it has a leather gray piping throughout the helmet. Um, but generally, this helmet will just come black on black. That's the way it's stocked, and that's the way most riders are wearing it in the Hunter and the Jumper ring. But we can do any sort of upgrade, colors, leather, painted vents, you name it. So Speed Air, like I said, is going to fit a lot of oval heads, which works out really great. You can see it kind of has a tapered brim that complements the shape of the shell. Something a little bit rounder for a more general fit would be this, this, the First Lady. Do you see how First Lady not only has a rounder brim, but seems to have a rounder shell as well? That's because it fits a rounder head. Now First Lady has taken over and is probably my best selling model from GPA. Same thing with this helmet, it has some extra accents on it you wouldn't normally see in store. This one happens to be navy with some red vents underneath, but normally this helmet would come black on black. It has this very distinct wide brim. This is not only for sun protection, it also is a really popular trend that has hung on really well. Um, and you'll see a lot of those in the Hunter and the Jumper ring. So First Lady is going to fit a little bit more round and give you that extra protection from the sun. Really popular helmet. Um, like I said, this is probably my best seller along the East Coast. Um, one thing I should really go over while we're discussing the different types of fit and shape to helmet shells is that GPA has a really distinct liner system. So the liners in the GPA helmets all come out. You can see there's different pads in here. And what they will do is tweak the size and the shape of the shell. Essentially what you'll have in a liner kit is the top pad, the forehead pad, and then these will go along the back of the helmet. So these different liner systems are different thicknesses depending on uh, what size liner is within the shell. We can not only change the um, actual size of the helmet using this liner system, you can also change the shape. For example, if you used one size up in the forehead piece of your liner system, that would make the helmet have a little bit more room in the forehead, if that makes sense. Um, so if that's something that you'd want to offer within the store, um, please contact me for details. I would be more than happy to discuss that um, in better detail and tell you more about how that liner system works and changing the shape within each helmet. Generally, we hope that people are a wonderful stock size and we find a great fitting model exactly for their heads. So now that we've talked about Speed Air and First Lady, the two best sellers with the big vents, I'll talk about some other ones that don't have quite the same venting system. The First Lady was so popular that we offered this one. This is called the Little Lady. Little Lady is in adult sizes, just like First Lady. You can see it has that same wide brim that everybody loves for style and sun protection, but it has a much sleeker shell to it. It only has these smaller vents which still give you some nice airflow, but it ends up being kind of a cleaner, sleeker shell. This is also a lot less expensive than First Lady, so this is a really nice option for people in multiple rings who want that kind of chic, wide brim look. 
Another helmet that works across a lot of different disciplines is this one called the Classic. Now this, this sample here has some crystal that normally this won't have, so your stock helmets will be black on black. But the Classic has a really nice classic square brim. It looks great on all sorts of different face shapes and it fits a lot of people really well. You can see it has a more traditional shape to the shell all around. And similar to the Little Lady, it's a little bit less expensive than First Lady and Speed Air. So it makes a really well uh, crowd pleaser helmet for people in all sorts of different disciplines and all sorts of different styles. Lastly, I wanna talk about this very special helmet called the Concept. You can see instead of having a leather harness, this has a harness that's a little bit more rigid. It covers the back of the head a little bit more. Um, and this harness is actually made out of carbon fiber and Kevlar. What this does is add some extra safety features to the standard First Lady or the standard Speed Air. So you can actually bend this harness as much as necessary it's very flexible, it's very comfortable on. And what this harness ensures is that the shell always stays with the rider's head. During any sort of fall or impact, if the helmet shell is somehow jostled or comes loose off the rider's head, it can't really do a whole lot for you at that point in time. So this harness makes it very difficult for the shell to move off the rider's head. You can see it actually improves the rider's field of vision as well. I don't have the extra harness pieces right here out of the corner of my eye, so I have a better view of what's going on. This makes it very popular for hunters, jumpers, and event riders. So I think we've covered it. We've talked about all sorts of different great GPA models, why they work for different people. If you've got more questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to come to your store and do more training or shoot me a text message or email and we can definitely discuss things in more detail that way.